Hello everyone, my name is Karirwa Laura and welcome to Sitam Church Online Talk Show. I am definitely not by myself. To my, this is right. <laughs> <laughs> to my right. <laughs> Introduce yourself, my dear. Yes, my name is Kerry Kagiri and it's so good to be out here having this great conversations with you guys on Sitam Church Online on the talk show. Yes. Gentlemen. <laughs> so today, um, to start with, we want to talk about self-discipline. Um, this is a time where things have changed, of course, and many of us are finding ourselves, of course, at home, mm. either working from home or you've probably had to even stop working. Um, but, and then now more than ever, a lot of things are being tested. If you used to wake up because you have to go to work, mm -hmm. Now it's like, I'm going to sleep <laughs> until my sleep is done. Yeah. So you're finding yourself waking up at what, 11, 10. Um, if it's working out right now, you're just kwanza the fridge, trips to the fridge are so, <laughs> you know. So what can you say about that as we begin? Wow. I think it's a great season to be alive. <laughs> um, it's a good time to actually think about what matters most. Because when you're thinking about not waking up, it, you're, not, you're not waking up for anybody. Now it's basically for yourself. It's for you. It's for you to think, you know, I can wake up and probably spend some time in devotion. I can wake up and probably do some research. I can wake up and stretch a bit, do something. So I think that's where the self-discipline comes up. So I must confess that I've been a culprit because I'm one of those who do at 3 a.m. on a weekday. So when I'm not at work yeah. and I can actually stay in bed up to 10, Police. You will, freely. <laughs> My mom always said this to us growing up. Sleep, okay, can I say it in the language you said it in? Yeah. <laughs> I said, but I speak terribly. She says, like you can never get enough sleep. It will never be enough. So this time you're waking up for yourself and I feel like that's what we're having the conversation on. What self-discipline means. It means you don't have to wake up. Nobody is going to follow up on you. Nobody is going to call you. Nobody is going to WhatsApp you. There's even no alarm. Yeah. But you decide, I wake up early. What does, if we're to define this self-discipline, what exactly does it mean? Because um, we can probably define discipline and then yes. define self-discipline, self. or we can just define, would you help us with that? I think for me, I would look at it both, self-discipline, and scripture that comes to mind is uh, Proverbs 25, 28, that a man, without self-control, also known as self-discipline, is like a man without a wall. So anything A city that the wall has a been... A city whose walls have been broken. So picture this, you are inside your house, you have a roof, but you have no walls, the four of them. So the cats, the goats, the flood water, anything comes in. So if I was to define that, it's just having boundaries, it's having walls, knowing your limitations and most importantly as a child of God, it's knowing the word of God allows me to go this far. And actually, self-discipline, which for me I'm equating to self-control, is a fruit of the Spirit. Did you know that? You remember? Hey, love, joy, peace and patience, kindness, Aye, goodness, that's a bushy song. song. That's sang that one for Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. <laughs> yeah, so self-control yeah. is a virtue of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what then can you say, like, how exactly then, when you've said this thing about the war, I've just thought, of another way, another analogy of looking at it, like being self-disciplined is having an ability to kind of see yourself, a see view outside yourself. Yes. Like, if a see view outside yourself, if you're looking at yourself, what will you say about yourself? And what will you um, pick out as something that needs to be worked on? Uh, what will you appreciate about yourself? I mean, yeah, that just came to my mind. Uh, what then practical ways can we apply so that we become people of self. Mm -hmm. And actually before we talk about what practical things we can throw in, I think the reality of us having too much time brings out the whole aspect of either am I self-disciplined or am I lacking? In the sense of, as uh, Kerry talked about sleep, mm -hmm. you know, for me what comes to mind is the government has actually boosted internet, you know? Someone also wrote and said, okay. the reason 
the reason you actually don't read the Bible is actually because you lack the discipline. You know the way we say, you know, when I get enough time, I will pray for three hours, I will study scriptures from Genesis. The time is here now, but you'll be surprised. The day ends and you've not even turned to the Lord with the words of grace. You actually find yourself eating your like, oops, ni yeah. So, so bef as we come to the practical ways, I think the whole issue of when we have too much time to ourselves and when the walls that have defined us before and limited us are actually withdrawn, then it's the now the day you discover, am I disciplined or am I lacking? Yeah. But maybe carry on as a tupatia, the practical tips. Yeah, just I think how, how some... Some of them that I have applied personally, let me start with food because I'm a foodie. I know how you're nekani, but a girl can eat. And I found myself actually trying out like the most random recipes. I'm here making apple crumble and what and what. And I was like, okay, are you even serious with your life? So number one, I can help the foodies like me to swap your snack. Instead of going for that sugary thing that is in your fridge, first of all, don't even buy it. Yeah, fill your snack with like carrots. When you're hungry, trust me, those carrots will look like nyamachoma, you know. <laughs> Just go chop them up. And yeah. for all the foodies, that has worked for me. I'm replacing everything. When I feel like um, eating like chocolate, guess what I'm chopping up? Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are delicious, by the way. You just, it's mm. a fruit. Okay. It really is. Yeah. What so, I, that's the number one for food. Yeah. yeah. What I hear Carrie say is substitutes. Yes. Substitute uh, this particular thing that you know mm. is, you know, not the very best yeah. to, like, substitute those Netflix yeah. movies, movies. with we something can, nice uh, like. Sit and chat online. With sit and chat online. Yes. Or with a nice movie like I watched Overcome the other day, powerful awesome. movie. Yes. Like, there are really nice yes. stuff out yes. there. Yes. Substitute those. Funny, icky, raunchy mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. and you know, uh, do something else instead. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, as we also get into the parting shot is, I think one way to just, one big way for me to just be self-disciplined is say yeses and say nos. Mm -hmm. And know what you, to say yes to, know what to say no to. And have that very clearly mm -hmm. and have that inspired mm -hmm. by your faith yeah. and by the word of God and what it says about you and what it says about how you should live your life. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I'll be able to draw your lines um, because it's a very, it's not a, it's a very unsteady thing to leave without boundaries. You know, you just leave, anything goes, you know. So for me, that's what I'd say. Awesome. I think my parting shot, just to add on that, I'm not only going to talk about food, there are many other things, <laughs> but watch the next episode. Yeah. Guys, no is a love language. That's a point. No to more sleep is a love language. No to... Uh, People who are out here trying to chat you up up to 3 a.m. <laughs> is a love language. Sleep on time, be disciplined. Just know it's a love language. Don't be available for what you're talking about. Netflix and chill. Don't be available for that. Just say no. And it's okay. I think for me, when I think about self-discipline, my parting shot, the book of Proverbs really comes so much alive. You will read proverbs that talk about poverty, slug, slug, sluggardness, you know, you know, don't be slack, don't be slow. So I would actually advise someone, take time in this season and just read through a proverb a day. And in the process, you will gain wisdom so that now the ability to say no and yes is empowered so that not by might, not by power, but you are applying the power of God, especially you who is a believer you need the Holy Spirit to enable you to be self-disciplined. Because however much we try and not chat, however much we try and not eat as much, and you know glutton is a sin, we are do, overdoing it. But in such a season as this, we have the ability and the temptation to overdo it. So a proverb a day, lots of wisdom, so that God now empowers your efforts to, you know, cultivate that culture of self-discipline. Yeah, there you have it. We've had an amazing conversation on self-discipline and we could go on and on and on. One last thing I'd say is remember that everything that it is that you want to achieve, think of the goal, think of the reward. If you want to feel uh, more energetic, if you want to be more fit, think of the reward and that let, let that inspire you to do what you need to do. We love you and we thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. You can catch us on Twitter. 
Instagram. Mm -hmm. Na Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Please stay tuned for the next episode. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Mm.